Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here, weatherweb.net. It is Monday the 7th of July. Thanks again for watching. As you can probably hear from the background noise, I'm at the office at the moment, uh, taking advantage of a bike ride before it rains, and boy is it going to rain. This is the view from where I'm sitting at the moment. Uh, that's Mamata's cloud hanging down below Cumulonimbus cloud, which is gathering from the southwest. And if we look at the satellite picture, it reveals all this mass of cloud just down here towards the southwest is what I'm currently looking towards and getting ready to arrive and uh, spoil what has been a, a beautiful morning. Um, actually, interestingly, from this satellite picture as well, you can see the tops of cumulonimbus clouds here. Look, in one particular there heading uh, towards or just to the south of Manchester, and some big tops as well across northeastern parts of England. Much of the country, in fact, affected by the showers. But always fascinating, I think, when we look at these satellite pictures to see how the coasts look here across. The the southern coast of England, northwestern parts of England, southwestern Scotland. Look how they're free from the cloud and showers. And the reason for that is because the wind is coming in from this direction, from the southwest, and it's blowing the convection, basically the available energy inland. So it means that on those windward facing coasts, the showers just can't develop. And here's the radar picture, and I'm sat just about there at the moment, and this is all headed towards me. Nice, isn't it? So it better be quick. Um, you can also see as well the uh, bands of showers affecting uh, other parts of the country through Scotland here and across the eastern parts of Ireland. Also some really heavy ones here across southern parts of England, but the Tour de France route at the moment is largely unaffected, but it's this area here, I think, which is going to bring a wet afternoon and evening to many parts of uh, central southern Wales, the southern and western parts of the Midlands, and parts of central southern England too. And it's not only the UK that sees some rain, this is an unsettled uh, satellite picture um, taken this afternoon. You can see here the concentration of cloud and outbreaks of showers and thunderstorms there, affecting uh, many parts of southeastern France, running through into uh, Switzerland and into the northern parts of Italy, Corsica, Sardinia, also affected by that unseasonable summer weather too. Now, thoughts turning to what happens really as we go through this week and lots and lots of uncertainty between the models. You see here the comparison between the various models, how uh, surface pressure is forecast look to kind of rise slowly as we go through the course of this week, but then take a dip into next week before trying to rise back once again. There's real discrepancies between the models as to exactly how much uh, unsettled weather there is going to be once we get through this week. And the CFS not been handling things too badly overall in how it's seen things. Um, this is the week one forecast, which shows higher than all heights out towards the east and out towards the west as well. Quite a deep trough there, you can see, look, uh, through the British Isles, bringing showers, bringing outbreaks of rain uh, through the UK and through Ireland, trying to go in for a more unsettled week this week. If we look at week two, um, that also keeps higher than normal heights towards the north and towards the southeast. Southwest and northeast, though, is where we've got the troughs, and kind of we get this link through of a trough effect down through the UK, trying to keep things unsettled during the course of week two as well, from the 14th of July through to the 20th. Now, week three, from the 21st of July to the 27th, which is when I've been saying, look, let's, let's just look for four to five days of fine weather in there. It doesn't really see it. It keeps the higher than normal heights towards the north and towards the northwest. So it tends to want to keep this northeasterly flow through the UK. So most showers across the east, but it does try to keep low than normal heights towards the south. Jet stream going through here, which will keep the south basically unsettled. I'm not sure this is the way things pan out, though. And then into week four normal heights, it just sees normal heights across the uh, country, across much of Europe and basically tries to bring us back into a westerly flow with normal conditions for the time of year at the end of the month. I actually think that what's going to happen still is that I still think we need to focus on the 19th, 20th for the building pressure through till about the 24th or 25th and then from then onwards I think we need to look for a thundery end to the month. There is some agreement between the CFS and the JMA. This is the week one from the JMA taking us up to uh, this Friday. Uh, so this is taking us up to the 11th of July. And uh, look, there's the trough through the British Isles during the course of this week. That's the more unsettled showery conditions that the uh, CFS is seeing. And look, for the following week, this is from the 11th through to the 17th. Again, it's trying to keep a, a, a ridge out in the west, look, but this trough here through the UK tries to keep things unsettled during this week, so keeping this cool and showery thing going, and probably that's not too bad a forecast. 
This is week three and four, so this is from the 18th through to the, uh, where would we be? This is taking us up to actually the beginning of August, so about the 2nd of August. And I think this is the crucial one, because what the JMA is trying to do, look, is put higher than normal heights towards the north. It has this trough down here towards the south, so it's trying to get this sort of pattern going. Uh, bringing us with a northeasterly flow here, westerly flow here, and I think it's trying to pick up in detail on this prediction I've been telling you about that the 19th, 20th through to the 24th, 25th, this ridge takes over, but then after that, it's the turn of the trough look down towards the south that takes control of conditions, hence the reason for uh, the thundery ideas of uh, at the end of July. So I think you'll agree this is going to be an interesting one to watch, isn't it? Because um, we've stuck with this 19th, 20th date now for quite some time. In fact, probably for, what, five, six weeks? Um, so it'll be interesting to see how this one goes, won't it? Uh, anyway, thanks again for watching weatherweb.net. Uh, as I said, the reason for the background noise is because I'm outside at the moment and I really do need to get back on my bike now because uh, it looks like that rain is imminent. So <laughs> whatever you're doing, uh, have a great day. Thanks again for watching. And just a reminder that we kept free of charge by being able to place adverts around the screen here. And when you come back and use the site and use the forecast and the charts and everything else that's on here, it means that we can put more adverts in front of you, which means that we stay free of charge. So I want to say thank you for doing that. Thanks for watching and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.